So in order to use a CCM to provide your Windows updates before even all of this is configured, you need to at least add the SUP rule to your server. And also it's worth mentioning that on clients it is not necessary to configure automatic updates. In fact, the GPOs that you would have been previously using to manage WSUS to link clients to your WSUS server, they are not needed since the updates will now be handled by the SCCM clients. So you can actually turn off automatic updates and use the SCCM client for getting your updates. So ensure that you have added the software update point rule to your server else you will not be able to use your SCCM server as an update point for clients. So if we right click and synchronize whenever you right click and synchronize an update re repository we are basically downloading the updates for the categories that we selected. So we are now seeing a new folder called security updates and if we look through the SMS trace file we will see that updates are being downloaded to the server from the Microsoft update website. So these are a list of updates here. You can sort the updates. For example, if you're if you want to sort it by date or if you want to sort it by whether or not it has been expired or superseded by another update. So in this case I want to select the most recent that has been downloaded so far. I can sort by date released. So far we've reached about 2007 and we can also instead of having to sort the list manually we can create what is called a search folder which looks which you can specify criteria for for example you can search for updates you can create a, a preset search for updates for a particular year or for a particular period for example during the last day or last month you can do a search for that so if I click for the last month I can see updates that have been released for that time So the color of the arrows here determine whether or not the update is ready to deploy or whether or not it has expired or been superseded by another update. So if you want to create a new search folder, we can just right click on search folder and say new search folder. and we can select the information that we would like to create a view on. So basically search folders are basically views on your master update updates. So for example I can sort it by the date released and I can sort it then I can select particular values for example sorted by different periods here and then you can sort for other other types other types of fields whether or not it has been expired and you can also sort by product for example you would like to get search for updates or create a view for exchange server updates etc.